removing silence is not always a good practice among professional filmmakers, but it is very useful for your average YouTuber. When reading from a script, there might be some moments when you pause for a while in order to process what's going to happen next, to prepare for the next step or the next point that you want to make, or to also avoid mistakes so that you can present the information in a objective and much clear way. Removing every single minute of silence takes a lot of time, especially on longer videos. So what you can do instead of cutting everything manually is to automate the whole process and then leave the rest for your edit. You would do a first pass where you remove all of the silence therefore making the video much shorter and then you can import it to your video editor software for more precise adjustments. You won't need to install a new video editor, there's no need to add markers, you don't need to do multiple ripple delete throughout the clip, this works on Linux, Mac and Windows and it is relatively fast and easy. So if you want to auto remove silence without installing an heavyweight software or a new video editor altogether, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Hugo from awaketake.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to auto remove silence from your videos. To follow along, you don't need to have any particular video editor or to buy any expensive software whatsoever. In fact, everything we are doing is 100% free, except the operating system, unless of course you are using Linux. Although I will be showing how to do this on Windows, you can also install the same exact program on Linux or on Mac by following their own documentation. Don't get discouraged if the command line seems daunting to you because you can copy paste most of the commands from the video description down below. So the software that we are going to be using is called Auto Editor. It is just a simple command line application or also known as CLI, which stands for Command Line Interface, that you can use to automatically edit video and audio at the same time. The developers also provide a paid app with a graphical user interface which makes it a little bit easier and you don't need to use the command line but using the command line is still very easy in this case because once everything is installed you just type one command and it is also super fast. After everything is set up this will probably be one of the fastest ways to auto remove silence from video that you have ever seen. You will only need to run the command auto editor followed by the location and then the name of your video or you can also do that by typing in auto editor followed by the video name if you have the video on the same folder of this app or script. To be able to use auto editor you will need to install Python which is also a programming language, which is often used for automation scripts. You can go to the official site, then click on downloads and download the version that matches your operating system. You can click on the file that you've just downloaded, which is an executable if you are on Windows and it will open up the installer. From there, everything is straightforward. All you need to do is proceed with the installation. Just make sure that the option add Python to path is checked and then it continue. After you end with the installation process, you'll want to go to the folder where Python is installed and you can do that easily on Windows by right clicking and then followed by open file location or you can just use your file manager or browser to find the folder where it is installed of course, you can also take a look at that during the installation process. You'll then want to open the folder which points to the version you've just installed. So in my case, it would be Python 3.1.0 
and then you will go to the scripts folder and if you are on Windows, you can hit shift plus right click and select open terminal here or do a similar option on Mac or Linux. What really matters is that you open that location on your terminal, whether it is by using a right click or just going to that location via the terminal itself. Now we want to make sure Python is updated so you can run the command pip install dash dash upgrade pip and it will update if needed. After the update we can install auto editor by copy pasting the following command so it is pip install auto editor and don't forget the dash in the middle. To make sure auto editor is working properly after the installation you can run auto editor help and it will list all the options available for stuff you can do with the app. Everything is ready but do not close your terminal yet. From now on I recommend you copy paste the video file to the scripts folder and rename it to something without spaces to avoid conflict and it will be easier to then proceed with the video conversion. Then you will want to go to the terminal and type auto editor followed by the video name dot mp4 if you are using mp4 if you are using other video format then you will put that format instead of mp4 usually mp4 and move will work just fine but if possible avoid using a file that has already been edited previously or converted a lot of times whether that's by encoding or decoding it will take a few minutes and then it's done you can now grab the new clip and start editing on your video editor of choice. The video you just edited will open on a media player automatically if you want to check it out and a new file will be created with the same exact name followed by altered in capital letters. Now if the default configuration is not working for you because you have some background noise or something like that then you will want to tweak the settings or the configuration file for auto editor which you can do by following up with the official guide and I highly recommend that you read that. But you can also display the options by using the help command on auto editor. Let me know if you had any problems during the installation. You can check the description for all the commands and useful links for installation but you can also check some of my product recommendations. If you want to support the channel, you can also leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more digital marketing tips and some crypto stuff. You can also check out the merch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.